the essential work of the church is to introduce people to Jesus Christ, to allow him to, to transform us. And the simple idea that we are all broken people and we need to be put together by the loving hands of Jesus Christ. That is what church is about. That we have been transformed and that we are being transformed in our very nature. John chapter 9, it's a great story of a man who was born blind. Jesus said, this has not happened because of his sin or his parents' sin. This has been done so the work of God may be displayed in his life. And then Jesus does this amazing thing, right? He spits and he gets some dirt and he makes a little mud cake or mud pie. He puts it on the man's eyes and he gives him instructions. Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And the man goes to that pool. I'm sure he had some help. And he washes his eyes. And there, for the first time, he moves from darkness to he begins to see light. He said, basically, I was blind. Jesus came into my life. Now I can see. So if, if you would just be honest and say you need more of God in your life, that's where it starts. It says, Jesus, I really need you to transform me a deeper level of transformation than just saying the right things or doing the certain things. But help me to love you more fully and completely. Remember, eternal life doesn't just start on the other end when you die, but eternal life can start right now. And the Father wants you to have it. Would you just ask him to come more into your life and pervade you, to transform you, to give you the joy of salvation, to experience a deeper level of transformation, to love those who are difficult to love. We need the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We bow your heads and let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for all these examples of Scripture and from our lives of people who've had encounters with you. And Jesus, we know that you are always here. And so, Lord, help us to more fully give and surrender our lives to you. Lord, we want more than programs. We want more than smooth church services. We want more than just growing churches. We want an authentic life with you in the midst of hardship, in the midst of joy. And we know, God, that you can give it to us. And so we ask you to fill us, empty places in our life, remove things that are dead, Lord, so that your life can flow within us. Please do it today, even as we sing. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen.